Hey guys and welcome back to a new YouTube video. So as you guys know when I joined the army originally I joined the rifles and I've been with them for almost probably 18 months now and actually as of quite recently I'm no longer a rifleman. We've changed cat badge, changed regiment. So I thought I would sit down and just explain why because if you guys saw me wearing a new beret and saying that I'm no longer in the rifles I feel like there'll be questions asked so I just wanted to sit down and explain how that change has happened and, and why and what that means and how I feel about it. So when I joined, I joined the London Regiment and within that there were four companies. The Rifles was one of the companies and basically it was four different cap badges across one regiment. It, it Very weird. I think it's just how the, they structured it in the reserves. And what they've now done is chained the London Regiment to the 1st Battalion London Guards and paired each company up with a Guards company. Which makes a lot more sense, I'm not gonna lie. So us and the Rifles have been paired with the Coldstream Guards, so yeah, I'm not a Rifleman anymore, I am a Guardsman. So my opinion on the change, personally, it, it don't think it impacts me that much. We've changed from one infantry unit to another infantry unit, and actually I think I'm quite for the change because it means a lot more face time with your regular counterparts, which I didn't necessarily feel like I had when I was with the Rifles because the Rifles are so vastly spread over the UK. And with that pairing, there have been so many more opportunities. So just within the short space of time, it's been since we made the transition, way more opportunities have, have come to light than in comparison to what was available with the rifles. So for me, and I think a lot of people that do join the reserves, we're very for getting opportunities and getting deployments and getting training opportunities because we wanna better ourselves within the army and as soldiers. And to have the opportunity as a reservist to go and join regulars to do things is brilliant because that's what we wanna do. And I also think generally how the regiment has now been paired with four regular regiments, if you will, just makes more sense. You know, it's the first time there are guards reserves, which is, is great, making history. And it's just also good to have that sense of identity. You know, the whole regiment now is blue, red, blue. Whereas I felt like before we were a little bit outcasted because the other three companies within my regiment were blue, red, blue, but we were rifles. So it kind of didn't sit the same. Whereas now we've, you know, all formed that grace or identity of being within the guards. So I think generally it's easier to feel connected and have that deeper identity now that we have changed cat badge. So I think in summary, like I haven't been with the rifles that long, so I don't necessarily feel a deep connection with it. And I didn't join that unit within the reserves because I wanted to be a rifleman. I joined because I wanted to attached to an infantry unit, I wanted to go and do green skills, so on and so forth, before I went to Sandhurst. So I think I will caveat this video by saying, for me, my perspective on the big change isn't so big because my long-term objectives within the army make this sort of more of a chapter rather than the book. Whereas people in my company that were riflemen in the regulars and have probably been in the rifles for like 10, 15 years, are gonna feel that deeper sense of identity. So now that's being taken away from them and it's being replaced with a Coldstream Guards cap badge, they might have differing opinions to what I have, but I think on the whole from people that I've spoken to, like everyone's super positive about it. And I think there's gonna be so much more opportunity. But yeah, it, it, it's a weird change because there's so many little things that have come with it, you know, like being much stricter on kit and just generally having to polish your cat badge on your berry. Like you don't do any of that really in the rifle. So it's just a lot more disciplined um, and higher standards in terms of like presentation and, and drill and stuff like that. In the day, new challenges, new learning experiences. I'm very much welcoming it with open arms. It's just gonna be strange, I think, for the first few weeks in this transition when um, you wear a different beret and you wear different flashes. It is, it is a bit bizarre, but definitely a change that I'm um, looking forward to seeing how it kind of pans out for me and everyone else at the company and the, and the battalion as a whole. I thought I would hop on and explain why I'm no longer gonna be in the rifles berry. I do have a few videos that I filmed, you know, prior to the transition. So if I, you see me crop up in the rifles berry, it's because they are older videos. From now on, Coldstream Guards, super happy to be joining them. Can't wait to see what the, you know, the new chapter holds to be with them and that is why I'm wearing a cold stream cards berry and some blue, red, blue. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.